Yeah, that's right. I'm in the way. I'm in the corner blocking the UI. I want to have some fun. And uh, yeah, load up the game here. I was already in the game, but I want to show you this part here because I do find it's a little bit slow for my liking for how long it takes to have the server start up. And yes, the game can be played fully offline without an internet connection, blah, 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 blah. I'm having fun. I don't know what I'm doing. And and to go back to it again, listen, I, I get it. People want someone that know what they're doing. But honestly, I would rather watch someone who doesn't know what they're doing, but I at least get to see the game, hopefully take something away from it in some capacity. So there we are. So I've now built a sawmill and a workbench and from there i was able to craft better gear and now i did this thing where i could do the v blood alpha the white wolf act one i'm now tracking it just want to kind of show you this really quick don't really have any extra vampire power since i started playing the game and uh i think without knowing i'm an idiot when it comes to this game i'm just gonna follow that red you know, thing that seems to be doing something. And that might lead me to uh, this thing. Because right now I've got what's called Track V-Blood Carrier. By using the V-Blood menu, which I showed you. Uncover the knowledge and power by drinking the blood of one of these V-Blood Carriers. And then that'll unlock another blueprint. So I'm tracking the Alpha White Wolf. In the distance, apparently now, I'm being told, is close. Look at that nasty, disgusting thing. Level 26. Should I be calling my mama? Nasty. I got some plant fiber out of it. Yeah, I'm not sticking around for that. Oh, I'm level 20. Okay. That's not so bad, I suppose. I got the moves like Jagger, bitch. You can't catch me. You can't touch me. Well, maybe a little bit you can. But now I'm hungry. I'm going to zoom right in for that action. And that you can do. But as soon as you swing, intended mechanic. I've already talked about that. Okay, I was going to say I don't know where this wolf is. You know what? I am going to attack these. Because I, I need... Oh, you don't have to hold down the button. Well, I didn't know that. I thought you had to hold it down. Gotta hold it down, homie. It went from close to very close. Oh, yeah. And for the UI. That's the fucking UI. You see it? It's lovely. I'm coming back through the black hole. I get it. People have their preference. I just, I can't, I can't appease and please everybody. But my last video, I believe my camera was off. I just kind of prefer this because as a YouTuber, like someone who watches YouTube, I mean, sometimes, very rarely, because I'm too busy trying to make something of myself, which we see how all that's going. I like to see the person. I don't care how ugly, how much they blink. I don't give a shit. I find it's more intimate. I just uh, prefer it. Holy shit, I think that is the big bad wolf over there. Where is he? Oh, yeah. Oh, I did hit him. Hey, hey, hey. Nope. Can't get none of this. Okay. Let's talk about this. I don't know what you're biting at. Oh, I think it's my shadow. And yeah, you better... Oh, you're calling for backup. Of course you are. Just use a bitch. 
I will drink and feast on your whatever they are. <laughs> I don't know if it's the alpha wolf pups or whatever. I don't care. I'm going for a pup blood drink. No. Ow. There we go. No, I got to hold. I got to hold. Now I can let go. This is on easy, by the way. Just, just so that stronger. we're clear. Just so that we're very clear. Is that... You know what I mean? Use the vampire powers wheel to shapeshift. Ooh. From flesh to shadow. Yeah, boy. This is my den now. No, the one that's over here on the map. That is so cool. I have to admit, this is one of those games where at first, like, eh, you know, I wasn't really feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. I mean, I was and I wasn't. Recognize my power. And now I'm like, uh, I'm liking it more and more. Like it's, uh, it's speaking to me. I'm all like, what? Crack blood. Uh, uh huh. Very close. That's me. Cracking myself now. Healy, the Frost Archer, northeast, far away, far away, very close. Oh, there you go. Rufus, the Foreman. I am itchy. There we go. Track its blood. Hunt additional V-Blood carriers. Discover new spells. Use the spell book. Blah, 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 blah. So I could go right away. Uh, whoa. But to be honest with you, I don't know that I want to do that. And I don't know... What do I know? Maybe I'm going to turn... Sorry, let me look up my map. Yes, to the right. On the main road here. Now, the sun is rising. What I want to know is because I'm technically not... A vampire... Well, I mean, I am, but I'm in wolf form. Do I take sun damage? And that just answered my question. Just because I'm in wolf form doesn't... Escape. Oh, you can't attack in wolf form? I think you can attack in bear. I don't know. I don't know. When I know, I'll let you know. But it does seem like... Alright, so we're having some technical issues. To be honest with you, I do have the daytime set to the shortest period. And... You know, whatever. So that it's mainly nighttime. A little bit easier. And the idea behind that is really simple. I want to showcase the game. I want to have some fun. I want to blink 182 times a minute. And uh, for it to not be like, like this kind of shit. Now... See what I mean? Like, who wants to watch somebody do this now for 10-15 minutes, right? I'm surprised that you can't... As far as I know, attack in wolf form. I was pretty sure when I tried a game where you can start at level 90 and I had all the the animal forms that I was able to attack. Yeah, you see? That's so weird. Well, maybe not weird, but I I don't know. Maybe it's just the bear form that you can attack in. Let me try again. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. No, okay. Well, whatever. And then, of course, with that sense of progression, that we're killing things much easier. Far 
learning a little bit of coarse thread. Just some quick gameplay, like I said. Don't want to spend too much time. And yes, anything you attack that breaks will eventually break if you just keep walloping the shit out of it. I'll do that just to kind of show you how long it takes. Oh, it helps if I'm hitting a tree and not looking at my phone. Yeah, so it eventually comes down, and that is what I did, which I don't know if I mentioned at my little vampire castle, so that I was able to put down some additional... Uh, floors that I wasn't able to put down before. You can see that blue zone there. That's uh, that's my turf. Whether or not I remember how to get in there. Because right now I'm like surrounded by a cliff, right? Ooh. Oh, I'm incapacitated. That's right. Oh, did you miss? I think you did. But I also think I'm dying. Mama! Hey, you want to run away? I will feed on your flesh. Now I could do this. Sanguine regeneration. Actually, there is another thing I want to try. What happens if I go in the box to sleep? Because it actually doesn't make time go by. Oh, that's what happens. You heal. Okay. I don't know. I've never tried it before. You may be thinking to yourself, well, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, not every game allows you to regenerate when you're sleeping. And enemies do respawn. Resources, of course, respawn. I'm looking at some of the same trees and shit that I kicked the crap out of. That have uh, come back to haunt me. Yeah, so it's cool to have some things where you're like stronger and you can kick the crap out of it much easier than before. But at the same time, like I said, at the same time, I wish there was a way to just have it so that. You know what I'm saying? It scale that bitch. Scale the enemies. Just for like a little extra oomph. Yeah, see this thing. Don't have the proper tools. Right here. Got some like weird shards and stuff. I remember it. I whacked it. And then it came back. And also I want to mention that in closing I'm speaking to a friend who's got like a good couple of hundred hours into the game like a good few hundred hours into the game and they are telling me that this game is meant to replay multiple times it's not really meant for you to stick around post game kind of thing especially in pve unless you're doing like pvp then maybe once you're done it's not meant to just like i said just keep playing forever like some games which is fine, and now that I understand that... Ooh, Blood Rose. Let me guess, is that only out because there's a Blood Moon, or there was one? I don't know. I just love that I could turn the camera and tilt it like this. Something I wish Diablo would learn from, because Diablo's like this. And I'm like, I want it a bit more like that. But allowing people to select what they want so important. The more options you have, the more you cater to everybody. Literally. 
Oh, I think scaling's dumb. Don't have it. Oh, I think scaling's amazing. Toggle it on. Boom, everybody wins. Doesn't matter how dumb you think something is. You don't, you're not forced to do it. In the situation that I'm talking about. Anyhow, I've talked enough. Blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty sure I fought in bear form. Just maybe the wolf one is meant more for um, traveling. I, I really couldn't tell you. So this is where you would, uh, again... Castle, heart, servant, coffin. This is where, again, I could go here, dump some blood in there. But I'm good for quite a while. So, again, just a quick, quick little video. little cozy gameplay of me not knowing what I'm doing. But, oh, you know, I'm having I'm having fun. I think, I think this is an interesting game. Uh, the more I play it, the less and less I think it's anything like Diablo. Just because it's an isometric game game and you're whacking shit doesn't mean everything's like Diablo, right? There's just, it's not even like remotely, well, I mean, it's more like to it than golf is to fucking tennis, I suppose, if you wanted to go to that extreme. But yeah, they're, they're not the same. And to be honest with you, I don't know which one long term I'm going to prefer more uh, between a game like this and a game like Diablo. This one's good for game preservation because there's no online requirements. Which, to me, is, is just amazing. Like, I have to keep emphasizing that because that's a huge effing deal. Like, I can't even tell you. It's so rare, it seems like we shouldn't be celebrating when a game's offline. It's like, oh my god, it works without an internet connection. Like, yeah, great. It's not World of Warcraft. Alright. Thumbs up if you liked the video. It does greatly help support the channel. You didn't like it? Well, that's just too damn bad. Go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half, twist it, and I'll eat it. Because of the vampire thing, right? Not because I'm some sick weirdo. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be fantastic. But if not, believe me, I get it. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And if I'm lucky... Uh-oh, sun's coming. Maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. And again, I'm going to do this. There, there's that beautiful UI in case you wanted to see that again. All right. Bye for now.